Welcome to Aurora Sellers Virtual Happy Hour. It is September 2023. None of us can believe it. I mean, it feel like September. Yeah. It feels like September. <laughs> this, I'm Dawn. I'm the wine club manager at Aurora Sellers, and I have with me one of our wine associates, Beth Schroeder. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Beth. This is yeah. fun and chatting, and we have lots to catch up on. Yeah, I didn't see you. You've been you've been gone a little bit. Did you have a nice little break? It was wonderful. Yeah, it was wonderful. So you got to a birthday stuff. celebration. Celebrating. Yeah, my mother-in-law. Oh yeah, it was wonderful. She yeah. still talks about it. She's like, happy oh, birthday, Nancy. Nancy, just celebrate all month. <laughs> she will. I was gonna cheers you, but um, something missing. So I see oh, this shoot. is a, a bell that says ring for wine. Why don't you ring. see what happens? <laughs> oh, I like to do it like this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at here Bubbles. Oh, Hi. Bubbles. The fairy. Bubbles is oh, here. That is well, amazing. Thank her. you. Yes. Come around in the middle here. I like this bell. You guys should get one of these at your house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a poor Frankish thing. Oh, well, well, Frankish. Nice. Today that's is the day. day. So we went from like 9,500 <laughs> degrees two days ago. It was so hot to barely Thanks, 60 got you. <laughs> and windy today. Bubbles, thank you so much. You're welcome, and I'm, I'm close by, so you ring that bell. <laughs> I'm going to test that. Okay. I am going to test this. All right. All right. Thank I'm you so it. much. All right. Great. So you have both Frankish. Let's do a little cheers here. If you have your wine, go ahead. Have some wine. Cheers. And enjoy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sure, and getting extra amounts yeah. because there's so many good ones. 
yeah, making all their selections and like mm -hmm. choosing, tasting, all of that. So if you need any help, I know um, Devin is here with us. She is hanging in there at the end of her long day. Thank you, Devin. She is probably written contact wine club at aurorasellers.com. <laughs> If you have any questions or need any assistance, I will get back to you. Uh, if you're a wine club member and you need help, I will get back to you. Um, I've been able to finish my days by connecting with everyone so far. So please let us know if you need anything. And um, start off right. We have the best wine club members in the world. Oh, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you all. All right, if you're, oh, and if you're not a Lions Club member, what do they do? It's the perfect time to be signing up because they can take the first allocation now. Yeah. Yeah. What are the allocations consisting of? Well, they can come in and do their free tastings mm -hmm. and um, they can either choose the 15% six bottles twice a year or 12 bottles twice a year, 25% off. And passing um, you. You're passing. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's great. Look at this. You need more wine. No, look at this. <laughs> hey, Bubbles, you're back. I'm back. Oh. So, look what Bubbles is bringing us. Let's see. Devin, you can tell me if this is showing up okay. Turn the middle one. Look at that. Professional. That's a good choice. So, Bubbles, what did you bring us? These are the three selection that the winemaker is recommending, but as usual, you can always have customize your own order. Yeah, so Drew, mm -hmm. our head winemaker, picked a uh, amazing, sparkling, a new release, mm -hmm. Pinot Blanc. What do you think about Pinot Blanc? It's delicious, people. It's yeah. delicious. You like that? How I about do. you? Are you enjoying people that are one? That. Yeah, I like yeah. it, yes. And then this one is our 2020, right? 2020. Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. Anymore. So that's exciting too. This mm -hmm. is absolutely wonderful, smooth, yeah. great wine. Stu's favorite, currently. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's your husband. Mm -hmm. Does he um have? Does he like his wine with different meals? Is there anything special that he likes Pinot Noir with? He actually likes it with pasta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, mm -hmm. yeah. So versatile. Yeah. Like any kind of sauce on that or. Pasta salad, pasta yeah, really. marinara. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. It's really good. Wow, mm -hmm. it is so versatile. I think because it's a lifestyle rod. Yep, super smooth, awesome. Um, that was perfect. And didn't you learn that that's one of Drew's favorite wines to make? Not anymore. Mm -hmm. Were you listening? Mm -hmm. I was yeah. listening to that class. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's why it's a challenge. Yeah. He enjoys making that. Speaking of Pinot Noir, Lauren is asking what year it is. What vintage is our Pinot Noir currently? Okay, Lauren. So, current tasting room, uh, what we're selling on the website or tasting room is 2020. So, we don't have a ton of that left, and we may be switching this fall to 2021. But for now, it's 2020. Uh, we have a few library wines um, that's 2018 Pinot Noir. I don't have the inventory on that right at the moment, but I could find out. So. You know what? Thank you for the question. I'm going to go get that a little bit of Pinot Noir. She wants to revisit that just to taste. Okay. I'm going to get that for you. Let's see what a taste looks like. <laughs> so so something, <laughs> something did come good came out of uh, COVID. Yeah. Yeah, pretty we much. Had great <laughs> we had some and great Pinot Noir. And great Blanc to grow some grapes uh, by ourselves. Um, this is we from were, our personal stash. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of up in the tasting room all by myself, and I would like run wine out on the sidewalk and set it down if people wanted to pick it up and run back inside and wave. <laughs> and um, Drew was in the cellar by himself, so yeah, we wow. We, we, it was a two-person party. <laughs> Chaconi says hi. Hi, Chaconi. <laughs> hi, friends. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. That's all cheers. Oh, yeah. Boom.
That's a great selection, I think. The, um, the one thing I wanted to just mention was everybody has to do their selection or customizing their wine club allocation by September 15th. So that's a Friday, week from tomorrow. And um, that's really important and I'm happy to help. So that's coming up. The other thing was, um, it's something that Devin has been a big part of, maybe the only person that's part of it, but a big part of it is the blog. And I just want to talk about that again because I go to it myself to look up things and to remind myself of information. It's such a great resource. So if you go to the website, auroracellars.com, and then you click, there's a menu on a phone that drops down or on a desktop that's across the top and it's about. So you click on the about tab and under that is blog, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's so many topics that they had to add subcategories that you click on. So then you click on white one, all right? And I did this earlier because I wanted to get some facts straight about Gruner, Veltliner, which is not represented in a bottle here, but it's in my glass. The Gruner Veltliner, I just, we can't be more excited that we have been awarded by Vine Care, which is a huge uh, media um, outlet. I don't know how to describe them. They mm -hmm. just, they're just huge. Um, and they've said that our Gruner is one of the top 14. That's right. The top 14 in 2023. Period. Mm -hmm. Meaning world. Yeah. That's also our debut in Vine Pair. Yeah, the debut of Vine Pair. Um, the 90 points is out of 100. Um, if you get into the 80s and 90s, like you're looking at a great wine to try. If you haven't tried the Gruner Veltliner, we are, this is the 2021 vintage we're talking about that we have in the tasting room. Um, I highly recommend it. It's exciting. It will go so well with so many different foods in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, carries us right over into the fall, right? right you're right. missing summer right now a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this person who goes to a warm state <laughs> all winter is sitting here yeah. with me and I don't even know if it's 60 degrees. Well, she's in her shorts. But she's you can't in see her legs, but she's in shorts. <laughs> I'm like bundled up in my winter clothes, and she's um, just doesn't need those because she doesn't live here in the winter. No. But you could. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to get you to. Yeah. Well, you, know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard. It's currently 62 degrees. I know, it's 62. Yeah. 62. Yeah. <laughs> So the Gruner, Veltliner, um, you can find it on our website, you can read about it, and you can also um, purchase it online if you're far away and watching this, um, it's a really fun one to try. So that's my, that's my line of the day that I've been thinking about, and it's, um, it's just incredible, mm -hmm. the recognition we're getting uh, for Michigan wine.
They should be writing the tasting notes. <laughs> Last year, last day of harvest was the 2nd of November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. October 1st to November 2nd last year. Yeah. That's a nice one. That is such a sweet one. It's a great model. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, ready? So you saw the word Great Lakes. What do you think? What do you think I'm going to say about Great Lakes or ask you about? No clue. No clue. No, absolutely no clue. <laughs> That's pretty normal. I'm all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the Great Lakes, what the question is going to be is it's referring to the coast. And most of the wine grapes are grown within this many miles of the coast yeah. of Lake Michigan. Right. Do you know how many miles? How many miles? Yeah. Ten? Okay. Yes. She's on it. <laughs> she knows so much more than she tells me. It's 25. Like, most of the wine grapes are grown within 25 oh, miles yeah. of the coast of Lake Michigan, mm -hmm. which is amazing. That's close. There's other, obviously, places all over that are trying different things, mm -hmm. but that's the majority. Well, um, okay. <clears throat> there <laughs> are how many? What's that? <laughs> not reading your notes. I'm not, I'm not taking any chances anymore. <laughs> how many, um, so the, do you know what ABA stands for? Because I have to look this up every time. No. Does anybody out there? Not, not. You, Devin, you write the blog. Nice try. <laughs> um, this, do you want to guess in the comments? Um, any guesses for the uh, acres or anything like that? Any superstars out there today? Mm -mm. Okay. Don't be shy. Every every guess is fun. American Vintners Association. That's oh, close. It's American Viticultural areas. So it's like another word for region. But um, how many are specifically in Michigan? Areas? Yeah. Like their name registered, all the rules are followed, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. How about 500? One million? These are places that are named and are specific areas and unique um, characteristics. So in Michigan, there's five. So the areas, yeah, okay. right. regions. So for example, the first, um, one of the first that was registered was called Fen Valley. Or no, 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 not Fen Valley, it's Fenville, I'm sorry. Fen Valley Vineyards is in Fenville, <laughs> but um, Fenville, have you been no. to Saugatuck no. area? I've heard of it, I've never been there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Been to yeah. there. Um, did you grow up near there? Is Holland near mm -hmm. Saugatuck? Mm -hmm. So, um, that is one, and then the second one is Leelanau Peninsula. So our whole peninsula is one area. Is a peninsula. It's also a county, and it's also an ABA. And then the third one is Old Mission. Mm -hmm. So Old Mission Peninsula is its own ABA. Yes. And then the fourth and fifth ones are Tip of the Mitt, which is like includes Petoskey and oh, stuff. Right. And then the Lake Michigan Shore, which is down in the southwest. Were you saying uh, that's my order? Mm-hmm. Old well, so Mission was... Oh, okay. After Wheel and I, I don't... I no, you're fine. <laughs> I, I thought you were ordering them. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, so Lake Michigan Shore. Um, Lake Michigan Shore is the area in the southwest, and there's four weeks or so um, um, longer ripening. Because there's a winery in... Um, looking at down there and they already have every little the presses out mm -hmm. and ready to go and like gonna look at harvesting shortly. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool yeah. to see that uh, difference just where you're at. Uh, so all of those things are involved in the ABA, like the soil, um, the terroir, you know, all the different the climate and everything. So isn't that cool? Yes. So five cool. of them all in Michigan 
is a really neat thing and um, fun to explore all the different things. Which I know we all do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When we can. We try. Yeah, we try. <laughs> um, so that is another thing. Um, one of the other things that's really interesting that we talk about here is the parallels. So that's the latitude. Um, the parallel line. So we, we are on the 45th, the 45th parallel, which is really exciting because that is halfway between um, the equator and the North Pole. Okay. Sometimes I doubt myself when I'm talking. So <laughs> it's happy hour. Woo! <laughs> Here. <laughs> for so many reasons, but wine grapes grow between the 30th and the 50th. So we have this awesome buffer yes. um, as things are changing and stuff and that we can grow grapes here. It's getting better and better. Um, people like Drew and our co-owners, Sam and Taylor, uh, brother and sister, all those people that are just um, keep moving forward and pushing the limits to make better wine, um, grow better grapes, like just all that stuff that's happening. And then we get to do it in the 45th parallel. Yeah. Do you know um, a couple places in France that are on the 45th parallel? Anything that you think that would be the Spanish? <laughs> I'm not trying to make it too hard. Gotcha. Um, so, <laughs> I wasn't talking about bistro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a French. It sounds French. It could be. Yeah. Why not? A French, a French bistro. Um, Bordeaux and Burgundy are on the 45th parallel. How about an organ? Um, a legion that starts with W. <laughs> <laughs> White. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Uh, well, not Sally. Okay. And then um, the the other one that people kind of know about that is similar place um, on the forty fifth parallels in Italy, and that starts with a P. I pass it along in the so, tasting room. Yes. <laughs> anybody, anybody want to tell us what they're sipping on for happy hour? Um, write in the comments for seven, and she'll pass it along to us so we know. And how about this? Uh, what's for dinner? Yeah. What kind of wine for dinner? Do you have anything planned for dinner tonight? Um, not quite. I just feel like a nice ribeye, a nice ribeye in there would be Ooh. great with this blackcurrant. Okay, wouldn't that? Nice sweet potato uh, salad. Yeah. How do you do your sweet potatoes? There's so many good ways to just bake them. Bake them. Wait, nice. Plain bacon, bacon, butter. Yeah. I like to peel my sweet potatoes and chop them up, and I roast them with chili powder or like cayenne pepper. 
Really? So that sweet and spicy, mm. nice roasted to the little charred yeah. places. So yummy. I have to try that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's easy. <laughs> it doesn't take too long. They, they soften really nice. So. Oh, it's still in the oven, so it's easy to throw in and put 30 minutes. Do you oil them or anything? Just a little bit of the uh, olive oil, okay. whatever oil you have. Like, and just um, put the spice in. And I just, I just, you can see it. Right. Um, I, I like pan out for that, but I'm careful, yeah. not too much. Right. Um, but you can see it, so you kind of just lightly sprinkle it, mm. but just that little kick kind of balances that sweetness for me. Oh, that would be great. So yummy. Um, what else? Let's see. What have we, what have we made lately? We're, we have been all over the place with dinner because um, our garden is like fully oh, ready yeah yeah got lots of garden stuff so it's kind of like what's ripe today yeah um i just picked the big zucchini that grew with the rain yesterday um, oh, yeah. usually i like to pick them a little smaller but this one's bigger and then uh we've had we have potatoes and onions so that's nice you ever had gypsy's arm which one gypsy's arm it's, it's uh my mom used to make it when i was little you said zucchini it's it's a zucchini yeah. okay. and you slice the zucchini lengthwise and then you take out the seeds and it's kind of like a meatloaf and a zucchini. Oh, yeah. It's actually really good. That's and really I don't good. like zucchini. That's okay. the only time I will eat zucchini. And then you just bake it in the oven. So you make it like a, um, it's like a boat that holds yeah. the meatloaf? Yeah, I'll have to find a recipe. I'll have to find a recipe for you. But like you can use turkey because yeah. I know you eat ground turkey. You can use turkey. Yeah, you can use... That it, you like you can use any yeah, meat it's literally i like to think of it as a meat meat loaf made in a zucchini yeah. <laughs> like seriously and if you do have a good size zucchini yeah. like split it in half mm -hmm. like sure. with your family since there's you know like four people yeah. you get a good size zucchini split it in half you each have a pretty good half yeah i'll have to find your recipe my mom used to make it when i was younger yeah, I would love that. that's the yeah. only way i eat zucchini other than i don't like zucchini sides and holes in it. Yeah. Um, but we put our onions and zucchini and like sweet peppers from the garden in it. Just just a little oh. salt, pepper, a little tiny bit of olive oil. Yeah. And we grill that. Yeah. I love doing that. That's like a staple. Yeah. Right now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was gonna say we're all over the place with um food because of the weather. It's like a couple days ago we just wanted watermelon and corn on the cob and like today we're like chili. Chili sounds good. I had like, that for lunch today. <laughs> so it's just, yeah. it's that time of year that yeah. I could plan on making chili and it turns out to be like 85 degrees. Yes. <laughs> and then everybody's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sticking to the menu. <laughs> yeah, three tables. We <laughs> like chili. Yeah, so. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about it's, um, was um, we have a new program that Aurora, another one. Um, this is really cool. It's coming up. It's not just for the holidays, but it's perfect for the holidays. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, thank you. It's called the Corporate and Personal wine gifts it's called the gifting program oh and my daughter um, so a lot of this is new so the details i'm going to tell you where to find them because that would be better for you um our events director christy brown who uh, you may have met i'm just so happy i was before so she's leading this right and it's for corporate or personal um and she has different packages for people to order to get other people. So you could do a whole bunch of with just a few and have all your shopping done for the clients you want to treat. Um, there's multiple ways to do that. The website has the gifting program on a tab with the wine club. 
so you can go to awardsellers.com and click on the wine club or cover and kind of click down on the corporate gifting or gifting program. And then, what else is it? There's another spot. Oh, the tasting room. Oh, well, yeah. Tasting room has some um, information for you. And the one thing I can show you today, which is a sneak peek, this is so cool. I'm moving my stuff out of the way. Um, it's also on our Facebook. I post. I did a post yesterday, so you just have to look at our posts. Okay, so, um, on the Aurora, yep, on the Aurora Sellers Facebook page. Nope. Go down and find the post the it's also in the. It's also in the link on our Instagram too. If you go to our Instagram bio, there's a link up at the top. Just click that, scroll down until you see personal gifting or you know gifting program click on it it'll take you to the website so this is a new um a new bag that isn't here yet but it's coming soon yep when we have merchandise and stuff um i just wanted to show you I know you can't feel this, but this is so luxurious. This is like ribbon. Yeah. It's like a it's, thick material. Um, oh my gosh. It's, it's like a gift bag. Yeah. It's like a gift bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. 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 Yeah, she's a personal gifting concierge. There you go. Personal gifting concierge. And she'll walk you through every step of the way. Our big deadline is October 31st. And what is that? That's for like holiday. That's for like the holidays, just to make sure that we have everything all set because we ship it all out and stuff. And so the big one is. I think so. Yeah. And then there are. Yeah. Yeah. Show the top of the... Any bottle will fit in there. Just like the bag. Like, yeah. 
Liz's story is wondering what you recommend for chicken artichoke pasta. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Especially if it's homemade. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I think so. I like um, I like lemon times with that. Um, so I might even go with a bubbly. Depends on your sauce. Oh, the black one. Yeah, lots of black would be so much salsa. Is there a red that would go well with it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Liz, you could always have Rosso with it. Yeah. Rosso would be, would be delicious with it. Because Rosso is always delicious, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and the only other thing I was thinking about are uh, medium sweet Riesling, mm. which just erase the words medium sweet. Okay. So our Riesling, um, we have lots of Riesling and some great flavor, and that's always wonderful to pair different foods. It really goes so well with so much. Liz said Rosso goes with anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like we've covered a lot today, you guys, and we've had a lot of fun. I thank you very much. We're sitting out here in the pool, the bus stream in, and playing with me. That and more. Happy customizing.